Well, it might not be a wall. It might be quicksand. Uh, <laughs> it turns out that technically women start losing their value after a after the age of 21. They don't have to hit the wall yet. Uh, this is kind of weird. Well, no, it, I don't know. It kind of makes sense because at peak... Yeah. That is kind of weird, though. Okay. While going through uh, uh, discoverynews.com, come across an article interesting um, men say women are not as hot after the age of 21 <laughs> um, apparently they've got they've actually gone through and studied this they've asked men ev from uh, ages uh, 20 all the way up to uh, in our 70s for men anyways about uh, and viewing images of women and actually just ranking them by the photos uh, the lab would they would go and check uh, uh, the ages of them they would also ask them as a survey about as to what they thought about chicks at what age and yada 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 but it turns out women might not be specifically just up against the wall. This might also explain some some other uh, 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 behavior patterns of women. Uh, I say this because in order for trends like this to exist, there has to be a uh, evolutionary uh, root of it. It's it, it's got to be in our genes somehow. Which means it's been there for a while. And this can actually help explain certain behavior patterns. Not their specific behavior. Um, but, anyways. Uh, and I quote. From the time you are 22, you will be less hot than a 20-year-old. <laughs> Um, uh, this is an excerpt from a, uh, a book, and the, uh, author shows, uh, here we go, the, uh, book is titled Dataclysm, I'll be leaving a link to the, uh, website, uh, uh, Dataclysm, who we are, when we think no one's looking. Uh, is based on data from uh, the uh, dating site OkCupid. All right. uh, that's to go and give you, it's it's just one dating site. It's not this... It, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fairly large sample size, but keep in mind this is still online dating. So try and take that into account within your own uh, reasoning and what the uh, data uh, uh, reveals is that the ideal age uh, for a woman is between the age of 20 and 21 I find this interesting because, technically speaking, uh, I believe that's actually the point in time for a woman to essentially guarantee the uh, birth of a healthy child. I mean, statistically speaking, I think the odds of, uh, well, if if we exclude drug, drug, drug use and... Uh, uh, environmental chemical overloads uh, at around this time this is when a female is the most fertile 
is when she has the most perceived value. And at this point in time, she is releasing a huge amount of pheromones. And also, at around this time, their testosterone level is actually higher, which drives their sex drive. Getting back to the data. From men asked between the age of 20 and 50 on this chart, uh, versus the age of the women who look best to him. Literally, the chicks that everyone's looking at are literally in this age group. And it's usually after the age of about 24, a few years after her uh, uh, peak, um, that's when they start getting fairly ravenous. I mean, they're ravenous as it is um, with some of their appetites um, up to this point in time, and they have no and they have no qualms about abusing it. We also see that around this age group, that's when a lot of chicks go and realize, "Hey, I get a lot of free stuff from guys, and all I have to do is sit and look pretty." Yeah. And around the time they are 24, 25, the women who go and do this, they are the ones who see the wall coming. They're the ones who see it. Uh, some then try and, and change a lifestyle. Others try and go and squeeze every last cent they can out of it. Uh, the ones that try and squeeze every last cent, some are successful they are far and few between. Most of these women tend to uh, end up in like a one-bedroom apartment with about three cats or uh, a parrot and a, a dog and a cat or something. They they have to fill their lives with some form of connection. And it is... I don't recommend that type of existence for anybody. That just sucks. Uh, but... Anyways, what it is is that is that uh, the data also shows in this is women will actually go and look for men up to the age of thirty nine because apparently, I, I they, we don't know why yet. This has been uh, studied on uh, a in a couple other places. Uh, I'm taking the, some of the wording from the article and I'm combining it with some of the other data I've come across in the past. Uh, what is that? After the age of 40, men, women tend to look at men more as father figures than uh, 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 romantic companionship. It is, it's kind of weird, apparently, because even if there's only like five years difference in age, between the man and woman, once the man crosses that that threshold, they start to become less and less uh, sexually uh, 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 attracted to you. This is for women uh, 25 and below. But until the age of 39, apparently a 21-year-old chick will go headlong into a 38-year-old. Uh, well, what uh, they found on OkCupid was that uh, on how men view or on how women view men up to age thirty nine, women prefer men's looks. Who now? What's also interesting is that women also prefer men who look about a year or so younger than they act than than they are. So if you are a, say, 32-year-old guy, you look as though you're 25, going and picking up a 26-year-old is essentially easy. Uh, actually, I can tell you right now, 24-year-olds aren't that hard either. They really aren't. 
21, they just, many of them are just too damn dumb. <sighs> but what, uh, but yeah, this is, I find this interesting, because if women are, if not consciously aware of this, but chemically aware of this, that their perceived value essentially throughout humanity goes down after X age, that could help explain why they just get crazier and crazier. Perhaps it's not exactly a biological clock. Perhaps it's more like uh, a biological hourglass, and the sand is slowly running out. Uh, you can call that a clock, but a clock tends to go and tick forward or tick down. This is just an overall draining of uh, of biological value. I I find this interesting since we are based on DNA DNA's sole purpose is to go and replicate uh, so we must uh, always try to look at things from from this point of view sad as it is I'm slowly be I'm slowly coming to this I uh, to this concept more and more um, we are conscious beings but so many similarities in uh, behavioral patterns, it just can't be ignored. And I'm slowly coming to a number of uh, realizations. And in, in this sense, I, if, we can, if we can make it another 100, 150 years without killing ourselves... Or throwing ourselves back into the fucking Stone Age. Um, we have a really, really good chance of... Uh, of, of essentially, in a sense, becoming immortal. Uh, our species, anyways. Um we then stand an extremely good chance of not going extinct uh, for a very, very long time. Uh, but that's assuming we can make it the next 150 years. But, I mean, what uh, do you think? Uh, you, you can take a look at the chart. Uh, there should be a link on... Here to where is it? No, I'll have to do another search on that one. But it might not be a wall. It might be a sudden realization of the power that they can wield. Um and then the realization that within two years their value has already dropped. If this is a chemical reaction, and any of my female uh, subscribers, uh, and I don't have many, if you have any input on this one, this that would actually be very enlightening. I mean, it's only a theory. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a woman. I can't say. But for it to be this much of a trend, there has to be a thread of commonality throughout the entire damn species. And if women actually come to a realization of the amount of power that they have, and then the sudden, re uh, suddenly realizing within a few years that. They essentially squandered it back then, and that they have squandered it since. Does that sudden realization instantly kick in and drive them to go and do crazy stuff? Uh, as with Tom Likas, like putting horsey sauce in a condom and making them burn. But I don't know. 
have rambled on way too long about this. But I do find it interesting that there's that much of a common thread. Uh, good night.